Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday, the day after the show. Sam has already been trying to get all the editing done because, holy heck, there's a lot when it comes to shows, especially when you do more than one division. But I want to show you guys something. Sam bought these two things for water so that I can water my garden, but that's not what I want to show you. I love that we can collect the rainwater and use it on our farm. Like, that's amazing. But what I'm really excited about is that it came with this stand. So these go on top of there and then they have like those little drains there. So Sam can hook a hose to them and I can water my garden. Wow, when he brought this in, all I see is a mounting block, you guys. That's all I see. Obviously, it needs a little bit of work, but I see a nice big mounting block. So that's what we're gonna make it, right? It needs stairs or it needs and it needs something on the top so we don't fall through the hole or hurt our ankles or anything. But anyway, we're headed out. First, I have to get an apple because I'm hungry. Sam and I like to spend all of our Sundays at home doing stuff and I have plans, but I ran out of goat grain and so I gotta go get it. I try and always get all of my grain stuff on Saturdays, but on the weeks that I can't, like on a horse show weekend or I'm busy, then if I run out, the goats are not happy. So that means that I gotta go and get it, regardless of the day or the time, because I don't like unhappy goats. They had enough for this morning, but they will be unhappy tonight because I only have a little left. So we're headed out to get grain. I actually love the clothes here. My little doggie. <laughs> She's just so cute. All right, are you ready? Sam and I are gonna try and move that. We should put it on something for sure. We are officially past the age of lifting that thing. I don't even know how we got it here to begin with. Like it is heavy. How'd you get it on the truck? Oh, I had help. Me and I told the guy, we'll just roll it and slide it on the truck. So that's what we did. Maybe we should roll it. Why don't you wrap a, a chain around it and drag it with your tire on its side? Drag it with the tire. Try drag it with the tractor. Yeah. I have the bush hog on there right now. So All right, well, work, let me know when you need help. It is noisy out here on the farm today. Everybody sounds unhappy. The horses are happy. We opened a new field for them, but the goats aren't happy. I don't know why. But the chickens, you guys, we've done something different with the chickens for this whole week and now we're about to fix it. When you add chickens together, when you add most animals together, you guys know there's like this time where there's a transition time where nobody likes each other. That's our duck. Everybody's unkind to one another and it's the same for chickens. So when the time came to put our babies and our ducks with the rest of the flock, we needed to lock them all in the coop for a few days for them to figure out their pecking order so that they could get used to each other. If we let chickens out all together, we just open the doors and let them out. The mean ones would chase the nice, the, the, the chickens at the top of the flock would chase the other ones off and because of where we let them out there's a strong possibility that they would go off into the grass because they were scared they wouldn't come in at night and then we would lose them for sure because if we can't bring them in at night we can't keep them safe from predators so they've been locked inside for a few days it's been awful but it had to happen and today's the day we're gonna let them out Unfortunately, they're still not all friends. I'm, I'm afraid to let them out. I might not do it. I don't know because like these guys are still scared of the mean ones. Uh, what should I do? It's been a week. <laughs> I bet you that's my turkey that loves me. This is the boy, I think. Are you the one that loves me <laughs> or is it you? Anyway, the door's going open. Keeping everybody inside all the time is hard. Don't be mean to other chickens. Now the chicken is 
And just like that, my, ow, my friend is back. Stop eating my hair. That hurts. Ow. She's so cute. I love her. Don't eat my hair. I actually love her though. Like, look at how friendly she is. Hi, baby. Turkeys are not smart. But they're really cute. Uh-oh, they're about to head outside. The turkeys are going for it. Uh-oh, here comes a mean one. That's our newest turkey, just our little guy. Clearly I'm getting a haircut today. Anyway, my hope here is that the big ones will go outside when they want to. The ones that are at the bottom of the flock will stay inside and eat and drink because I'm noticing that all the ones, as soon as they see me, the ones that are like being picked on, as soon as they see me, they run to the water and they hope that I'll protect them so they can drink. So hopefully once the mean ones go out, the ones on the bottom of the herd, the ones on the bottom, will be able to come back in and eat whenever they want. Those are the ducks and they all found each other. Our first little duck, he loves them too. They're all friends. Ducks are all friends. The only animals that stayed in are all of our new ones. The ones we're trying to get into the flock. Chickens are probably the hardest ones to acclimatize to one another. All right, so Sam did it. I was giving the chickens all fresh water, scrubbing out their buckets and giving them all fresh water. And Sam put it in there. I don't know if that's like the good spot for it or not, but it's in there and the chickens are out. All the, all the new babies are still in there. <laughs> So hopefully they feel comfortable coming out at some point. The hardest part, I feel like the hardest part of having a farm and having a lot of animals is the husbandry. I feel like it's the most important part, the most overlooked part, and definitely the hardest part. Oh, hello. Is it too hot for you? I was just coming to show them that you guys have a whole new field of hay. Where's Penny? Oh, there she is. I love this, you guys. Penny can be like, I don't want to hang out with you guys. She doesn't like to be in an enclosed place, space, too close to a lot of horses. So she chooses to be over there. And she can be with the horses and be away from them. The husbandry, another example is like with the horses. So our horses are getting kind of chub chubby on all the grass and that's okay. It like works itself out by the end of, they're not getting too, too fat but it works, it works itself out by fall and winter. I'd rather than be a little bit chubby going into winter because we don't have, we have like a really, we have a temperate climate, so it's cold here at winter. Hi, oh, Pen. <laughs> She's like, hello. Hi, baby. So um, Sam tries to put a fly mask on Penny every single day and every single day she looks at the fly mask and says, no, get away from me. The only one she'll let him put on her is this one. So she chose, she chose that this is the one that she likes. I'm gonna throw some hay in here for you guys because it's hot out there, huh? Anyway, so what I was saying about the husbandry is that, so they have a round bale outside and they started to run out of hay. They started to, so the horses started to run out of grass and Sam and I decided we were gonna put the horses on the new field in August to try and balance our, our grass. Like we want it to last at least until September. So uh, they've been running out of grass, but they have a round bale and we throw hay every single morning. We just throw a little bit of hay and they have a round bale they can eat whenever they want. And all of them lost weight. It's only been about 10 days, maybe 10 days, maybe a week. And they've all lost a little bit of weight. Not, not a bad thing because they all could use a little bit of weight loss. But when you give them all the hay that they need, but they only want to eat the grass, so they don't even eat the hay, it's frustrating. Like a lot of things with the animals are frustrating. So you can't just leave them and be like, yeah, okay, starve if you don't want to eat what I give you. You have to make changes to your husbandry and make sure everybody's getting food. Just like I threw them all hay right now. We did open the field for them to go out into the grass into the brand new big huge field. I was just gonna take you guys over and show you, but I'll show you later when they're in it. And um, 
but it's hot now so they want to be in the barn so I guess I really didn't need to throw them hay. Anyway, husbandry is hard. Taking care of the animals is hard. And it's not the lugging of water. It's not the feeding of grain. It's not the buying of the food. It's the managing their behaviors. It's managing the flocks and the herds. It's managing and making sure everybody's okay. Like making sure our pigs don't get sunburned and making sure they have what they need so that they don't get sunburned. And it's just like, it's that's the hard part about having a farm. It's a lot. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy to see them all inside eating when they need to. But look at that. Lady and Gracie are teaming up. Those two are teaming up. Only one out is Willow, who can stand to, actually she's lost a little bit of weight too. There you go, baby. It's not much. <laughs> Just a snack. Even though it takes a lot to manage everything, there's even hay up here. Like Sam has this whole area covered in hay. He throws them in the morning. Even though it takes a lot, you feel so much more satisfaction when your herd is happy and when your flock is all together and they're all happy. Come on, Allie, we're going in. So uh, today, it's you and me, Penny. Penny doesn't know it yet, but today is the start of us getting back in to the swing of things. We're gonna be going on our big trail ride within the next month. So, I mean, we have to get into shape. So Sam, all the hay is cut now, so we can get out there and we can ride around our property. We can ride around the whole property. We can ride like everywhere and I'm excited to do it. But today I think I'm gonna just take her for a quick walk down there just by on hand, but in hand, get her used to going away from the herd, get her used to uh, going out there again. So I know Sophie's really tired. She went to bed so early last night. She's exhausted from the show. When you show in the sun, it really changes everything. But I'm gonna try and uh, talk her into uh, taking a pony down there with me so we can go together. I am so proud of Sam. He got it all set up. And so now all that has to happen is it just has to rain. As it rains, the water will come off the house and go into these two buckets. And it will put a hose over here and I'll be able to water my garden. It's actually quiet out here on the farm and that doesn't happen often. That's what it looks like. Pray for us because I can tell you it's gonna go bad. Every horse is gonna follow us. Come on, Pen. I feel like I shouldn't video until we get out the gate. You can't come, you get a day off. It's not going well, is it? <laughs> Sophie says if they're not smart enough to go around, we'll be good. All right, we made it through. The only problem, the only problem causer here is everybody wants to go. They're like, come on, take us. But nope, this one. I'm actually taking her, but she's afraid to go through a herd of horses. Come here, Ellie, come here. You're gonna like this, come here. Come here, come here, don't, oh no, come on now. Oh my gosh, I got her. But she's wet now, which is probably a good thing. Are you brave now? You ready to roll now? Come on. All right, so we took the chubby one and the grouchy one and the happy dog. Ellie knows what we're doing now. She's like, I get it, we're going on the trail. Like Penny's like, are we actually going on the trail? Like got her covered in bug spray, bug cream. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now cause I love you. can see but leading us all is a, my little teeny tiny dog way in the front so gorgeous it's just been cut so it's so gorgeous Ellie get back here Sophie said I can't wait to get up I can't wait to get up up that hill 
I can't wait to get up that hill. She's excited. She's checking on the raspberries. We won't take long because the bugs are bad. Whew. Are they tiny? <laughs> Wild raspberries are never that big. Oh yeah, that's pretty tiny. Here. Give it. Are they good for eating? Yep. Of course. Good? The bugs are bad. Well, hello, Gracie. Were you waiting for us? They gave up waiting for us. Whew. That sure get your heart pumping. <laughs> Somebody was really unhappy with us. Great. Oh, that's how she gets it off. She laid down and rolled and got her ply mask off. God, are you mad at me? Are you, are you? <laughs> she is pretty mad. Here comes Lady. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Hi, honey. Hi, she has. Hi, ladies. Hi. Do I treat? It's so hot. That's exactly how I feel, Ellie. <laughs> Let's all jump in. She's like, hey, my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mom. <laughs> Let's go, she said. Oh. They're mad. I don't know if you can tell. You know it's hot. Don't throw it! Oh! You know it's hot when the pig and the goats are quiet. That means they're down in their area, chilling in the shade. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 